Welcome back to Kids Learn. This is week number four. And so today we have something exciting prepared for y'all. Um, not really sure what's going on, Miss Jamie. Why are you dressed the way you are? Miss Kim, I'm doing science. I've got my lab coat, got my big glasses, my gloves. Excuse my hair. It's just kind of messy, you know, with science experience. So I love science experience. I'm very excited to see what you have planned. That made me so excited. Have you guys ever been so excited? Like, you just felt like it was just like bubbling up inside of you. Yes. It's so cool. So, so, so. Can you think of a time when you were excited? If you want to hit pause right now, you can tell your parent. Okay. So, sorry. I paused myself. <laughs> All right. So, actually, there's tons of times in the Bible, too, where we see that people are excited about the Lord and all that the Lord has done for us. And one of the most famous scriptures is Psalm 100. So, I'm going to prepare a little experiment for us today. And while Miss Kim is reading Psalm 100, we're going to see something different. Because, you know, like the science, you put stuff in and then something totally different comes out. So, Miss Kim, if you want to turn to Psalm 100, I'm going to put my ingredients in. So, I'm going to my cup and I need some water. All right, guys. So, if you don't have your Bible, go grab your Bible. This is perfect time for that. And remember the book of Psalms. If you open up your Bible to the middle, most of the time you'll turn to the book of Psalms. And we need to find chapter 100. So 100, right. yes. All right. Bubble water. And my blueberries. Put a bunch of them in there. There we go. All right. So, after we finish reading, just like we get bold up and excited, the ravens, or I'm sorry, blueberries, are going to get bold up and excited and go all so, okay. um, is there any words we can like play along with, Miss Kim, while you're reading? All right, let's look at it and see. What if we do praise? Praise. praise. Okay, so every time we do praise, what should we do? Um, maybe when you hear me say praise, you can raise your hands up like this and praise. All right, awesome. Okay, all right, so Psalms 100. All right, and we're going to start at verse 1. It says, Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Mm, that's a good one. It is good. I know, I know David wrote a lot of his songs. I'm not sure if he wrote that one. Do you know? I do not know, but I'm thinking about it. Okay, all right. Let's see. Uh, okay. Is it not working? It's not working. Uh-oh. Huh. Well, what was supposed to happen? Well, I put in my water. And it was bubbles, you saw the bubbles, and then I put in my dry fruit, and it was supposed to, like, it says you could do a worship song, but, I mean, we read a worship scripture, we, I mean, we could have, it's science, it's supposed to work. What, did you have directions you were supposed to follow? Yeah, here's on my phone. Okay, so, you have, like, were you supposed to do raisins? Uh... Well, you know, when I went to the store, they didn't have any raisins, so I just, I got blueberries. Mm -hmm. But they don't kind of look like raisins. They do kind of look like raisins, but it does say raisins. What about, is the water the right kind of water? Miss Kim, we're in a pandemic. Like, uh, so it said seltzer, and I couldn't find seltzer, so I just got, like, mineral water. But it's not, but it's bubbles. Well, that could be it, Miss Jamie. Hmm. <sighs> Why did they seem to happen? I'm sorry. Mm. I guess I got, I guess I just didn't put the right things in. Yeah. Maybe we should follow the instructions. Yeah. Ugh. Well, maybe next time. Yeah. Maybe yeah. next time. Hmm. You know, that reminds me of a song we sing in church. It's, it's Yes. 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 Yes.
have instructions for our life. Yeah, we do. We do have instructions for our life. And maybe it's similar to that. We yeah. follow the instructions. Yeah. If we don't put in the right things, sometimes the wrong things come out. That's true. That's true. And things don't work and we're frustrated. But a lot of times it's because we haven't followed God's plan. So That's true, Miss Jane. Huh. I think there's, isn't there like another scripture? Like something about like what goes in your heart and then like comes. Yeah, I think there is. Let's look and see. I think there's a lot of scripture that refers to that. Um, but let's look at this one. This is Matthew 12, 34. And let's see what it says about that. Because it is important, important to follow God's plan for us. It says, you brood of vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good? For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Hmm. Hmm. So things we put in are going to ultimately come out. Yeah. So if I say I'm a Christian and I'm not putting the right things in, but you're not necessarily talking about food. It could be food. But, right. you know, it could be things we see, things we listen to, things we eat, places we go, lots of different things. So that, that's why we sing that song. Yeah, we have to be careful. Well, lesson learned. Um, well, you know, I had a science experiment for this upcoming week, too. But maybe you should tell us what the kids are going to do this week, and then I'll tell you about that, and I'll make sure that, you know, my list is right, because we're going to put the right things in That's right. this week. That's right. It's like you said, Ms. Jamie, it's so important that we follow instructions. And follow what God has given us as instructions to follow. Let's read that verse again and then let's talk about our kids do for this week. So this is Matthew 12, 34. And the end of that says, For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So, what we put in is what comes out. Alright, so we've got to make sure that what we're filling ourselves with is things of the Lord. So this week, a few different things you can do for kids do is first, let's put in something good. Okay, so whether that's like through your ears, that would look like listening to worship music, um, or maybe it could be through your eyes, reading God's Word, putting in good, because what you put in is what comes out. Um, doing your devotions on the Version Bible app like we've been doing, reading that and taking it to heart and memorizing Scripture. Um, so put in something good is first. Second is to speak out what is good. So... This week, let's speak good. Let's speak truth. Um, maybe that looks like saying a kind word to a family member, encouraging them in the Lord this week. Kill um, them mean. Yeah, even when they're mean, Ms. Jamie. And I know it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard for Miss Kim sometimes, too. But, you know, the Lord calls us to do what is right, even when it's hard. Mm -hmm. And so even if someone's being ugly, um, you're having a hard time, still be kind and love them like Jesus loves us. Because He loves us even when we're mean. That's tough. It is tough. And then last, Ms. Jamie, for kids do, um, this week, just like the Psalms talked about, is we should just praise the Lord. So he deserves our praise um, in the good times and the bad. And thank him because we are so blessed. We always have something to praise him for. Um, if we even take time to write down the things that God has done for us and just thank him in that way. So in that, that's your kids do for this week. And then let's talk about Kids Connect for tomorrow This night. is your clue. Yeah, this is your <laughs> hidden egg clue that Miss Jamie yeah. talked about last week. So here's your little clue, and we'll make sure we reach out to parents and remind everybody as well. So for tomorrow night on Kids Connect on Zoom, at what time, Miss Jamie? Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven, Seven o'clock on Zoom. We are going to have Mad Scientist Night. I'm going to wear my stuff. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so what we need everyone to do. If you have it, you don't have to. But if you have it, um, let's use some of these things that Miss Jamie has here. So everyone needs to have some cornstarch, which you probably have in your pantry, and some hair conditioner. Yes. All right? I recommend some that smells really nice. Yeah, let me smell. Ooh, careful. I know it's both mm -hmm. in my nails, but it's not very good. Mm -hmm. All right, so cornstarch and conditioner for our science experiment yes. tomorrow. And you'll probably need like a bowl or a Ziploc bag or something because okay. it's going to make it something really cool we can use. This is exciting. <laughs> so yes, so be ready with a bowl, your cornstarch, hair conditioner, we're going to do an experiment tomorrow. If you don't have those supplies, it's okay. You can just watch 
and then later um, can do it yourself at another time. So. You might want to. What if it doesn't turn out? Mm -hmm. right. So we need to make sure we follow the instructions. That's right. That's right. All right, guys. So we hope you've had a good week. We're just excited.